People's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Viney versus McKellip. You all have been together 10 years, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You have a three-year-old son? Yes, Your Honor. And you have opened this case because your gut tells you that your boyfriend of 10 years is cheating, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. I'm here today to find out if my boyfriend of 10 years has been cheating on me since the birth of our son. Oh. I have evidence and reasons to suspect that he is cheating again. So you are having those same feelings? Are you seeing those same signs again now? Yes. Tell me what that feels like, to feel that you're going through this again. Like a nightmare. And it hurts. It keeps me up at night. Forces me into investigations that I don't want to be doing. I have a child with this man. I deserve better. What I'm looking at is a woman torn up. She is hurting. So what are you here to prove when I'm looking at this? I'm here to prove to Alicia and everyone that I am not cheating okay. since our son has been born. So you have a three-year-old son. For the past three years, you have not cheated. Correct. Clearly, allegations of cheating hurt you deeply. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, so when it happened in the past, what made you take him back? He's the love of my life, Your Honor. Seven years old, since I was a little girl, the first time I saw him, I knew I was going to be with him forever. You saw, saw him, him when you were seven years old? Seven years old. His dad started driving truck for my dad's company. He showed up on a Saturday to help his dad wash the truck to get it ready for the Monday. And I was on my trampoline with my girlfriend, and I just told my girlfriend, girl, that was it. <laughs> All right, so when did you make these feelings known to him? He's always known. Okay, okay, so you... Did she tell you, or how... When did you find out she, she thought she was a around father. quite a bit when we were young. <laughs> yeah. So when but did it move from being child's play to adult play? Years and years down the road. Definitely. So what is it about him that you love? Give me some details. I'm so attracted to him physically, sexually. So there is maybe no spark for him, but my spark's always lit for him. <laughs> All right. All right. You gotta have spark. Gotta have a little gotta sparkle. Spark. And you little gotta keep spark. the spark going. You gotta keep it going. <laughs> yeah. You got so, to do that. The spark's still going, right? For you? Yeah. I don't even know how you asked me that. <laughs> All right. Why you ask me that? I'm you just, know? I'm gonna make sure the spark's still going. You know. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so, Mr. McKellar, what was your initial spark for her? There's definitely been an attraction. Our whole lives. I mean, I see the tears in your eyes. What are, what is that? What's fueling your emotional response right here today? She has said a lot of hurtful things to me, in which has put this wall up to where, you know, I... It's tough to let that wall down. What... What has kept you in the game if you feel like you have this insurmountable wall? Her and I, we definitely... When we're on the good, I mean, there's... There's nothing getting in between. Nothing. So, I just want to get this clear today. I want to get this straight. But you feel like her concerns about infidelity in the past is keeping your relationship from moving forward, that she just can't get past this? Yes. What exactly happened in the past? Your Honor, he was doing extra side work as a plumber. Uh, I... I didn't really give it much thought as to, you know, where he was going or who he was doing the extra work for until I was at a friend's house one night and I saw a picture, a photograph of this beautiful woman with big boobs and gorgeous. And I said, where did, who's this and where did you get this picture? He said, my friend. I said, well, who is she? He said, Alicia, that's who he's been doing side work for. I said, what? That's when I found out that he was cheating on me with her. So you thought he was going and doing plumbing work. And that's where he was spending all of his time because he was gone all the time. And he was actually doing some other kind of plumbing work. That's exactly right, yes. <laughs> wow. And that happened two times. Same, same woman. I so... found out about it and he said he would stop. Of course, I made him quit. And then I went away for two weeks 
And I came home and we were walking to get in the car and his phone is just buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. I knew. So I took it out of his pocket. I said, hello. And it was her again. The same woman. Same woman. So I took the phone call back into my friend's house to the bathroom where I spoke to her. And she continued to tell me that she loved him and she was hurt and she didn't know that he was back with me. She was going to take him to Florida to meet her family. And I said, you're him? Like, she picked me up later on, took me out for a drink where I learned that she was five months pregnant with another man's baby. Okay, wait a minute. You're saying you went out with this other woman she for a drink? She came up. She wanted to talk to me. I said, okay. Yeah. And that's not all I know about her. <laughs> what else did you find? She's a porn star. <laughs> the woman... A porn star that picked my man to do her plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when the trust went downhill. That... Yeah. Th there's a lot I could say about that. It was yeah. a big help. Uh, uh, it, it was a big help. And don't... Don't nope. say it, but yeah, you and I both are going, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, Mr. McKellar, how did that happen? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> yeah. I initially, yes, it was. I was there to do work on her home. And then, well, then the plumbing uh... took a turn. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Tell me I... exactly what happened. How does that? How does that happen? Well, like she said, she's a porn star, <clears throat> so. I'm like, yeah, and so I'm like, I don't have any money to pay for this job. How did that play out? How, wait, what did you? <laughs> I've is, heard. Is there, is there a pass I don't know about? Yeah, no, no, it's no pass. You, it, it's not that. But you know, you hear, you see those commercials where they they play that out, and it's it's an allusion to okay that. All right, I'm just checking. All right. I mean, look, we're not trying to make light of this, believe me, but sometimes you just have to kind of laugh Honor, at the pain a little bit. This happened to me. This All right. really happened. Yeah. This happened to me. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. So, Mr. McKellar, was this a long-time affair? Mm, not... It wasn't I, over a year or nothing. It was, you know, months. More than six months? Probably so, yes. So, after this happened, were you remorseful? The bottom line is, is it's... I had a choice between the two, definitely. I could have had that life or I could have had life with her and I chose her. So you go through all of this and I got to admit, it takes it to another level. It's one thing, it's just another woman, but... Yes, Your Honor. A porn star is like... That's like a woman's nightmare right there. So when you said that, but you still took him back and now we're here today. All right. Tell me why you believe he's cheating now. I went through his phone recently, a couple months ago, uh, earlier in the spring, and I was seeing this phone number coming up. See, I know what time he leaves for work, and as soon as he go and get in his work van and start driving off to work, he was there were phone calls, one right after another, the same number, and lunchtime, before, on his way home from work, he was calling this number. So I started calling this number with no answer, and then, lo and behold, I get a phone call, and it's from that number, and it's this girl telling me that I, my relationship is over. He hates my guts. Well, um... He doesn't well, want to well, be with me anymore. And how did I this needed initial, to move out of this her house. How did this initial happen? She told me to move out of my house. She knew personal things about me that I would never have told another person. He was telling her my own personal business. Hurtful things that she said he said that broke my heart. All right. I noticed in your court papers that you submitted to uh, the court, there were text messages that you received from this woman. Yes, Your Honor. And one reads, he doesn't want to work it out. I'm sorry, I don't know how to be any more blunt. If I wanted your man, I would already have him. Who knows, maybe I already did. And those are some of the nicer things she said. Wow. Okay, tell me about this woman. What, well, let me ask I... you this. Let me ask you this. What were you receiving multiple calls from this lady? Yes, I was talking to this lady. All right. Were you telling this woman your girlfriend's personal business? Um, there was probably a few things, but not everything that she's okay. claiming. Then what was the nature of your relationship with this woman? I guess I pretty much I need someone to talk to. Alicia and I cannot hardly even 
talk to each other anymore or it's just hard. She's, she's, you know, have said a lot of hurtful things to me. Cause I pretty much thought there was a time where, you know, I left for about five weeks. Um, Were you physically involved with this woman? I was not. So there was no sexual contact or mm. sexual activity with her? Good. Correct. Your Honor, I believe part of that, but I believe it was well on its way. But for your call, that thing would have gone forward. Oh, definitely, 100%. Beyond the text messages, is there any woman that you're worried about in particular? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, he was messing around with my friend's daughters. <laughs> and he always looks for her on Facebook. Always, always, always. That's one person he searches for frequently. He always wants to know where she is. Always wants, always searches for her. I don't know why. I want to know why. Was this... Well, Go ahead, La. We want to know why, too. <laughs> What's your relationship so with this girl? When I She's beautiful. Daughter? When I disappeared in the five weeks, this was the, was the person in 2015 that I did cheat on with. Oh. And uh, I told you this. No, you did not. I told you before. What else are you hiding? I told you before. <sighs> Okay, so him telling you today is the first time yes, you're hearing this? Yes. How long ago did this happen? 2015. <laughs> How did you end up with her friend's daughter? And why? Like I said, she's a very good looking person. I have given this man everything. You knew about this, Alicia? No, I didn't. The hell if you didn't. Miss Viney, I know that you... I can see that you're heartbroken. I've been this way for a while. I'm sorry to hear that. But my question is, he believes he told you this. Did you ask him, did he sleep with this young lady? I, I said, what is the connection? He said... And I said, when I found a text message... or a Facebook message on his Facebook, and her's telling him, I'm on my way, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And that was the last interaction I ever saw from her to him. So I said, what did you, she showed up, where, she pick you up, what did you guys do that night? What did you do? She showed up, what happened? He said, we just drove around and partied. He says he loves me, but he doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about how much he's hurt me. He's selfish. Uh, you have put a lot of hurt to Not my heart. Not like you have done to me. Do you know okay, that I made it fact? up. I gave you Do a you know child. That for a fact? I gave you a child. Okay, Mr. McCallum, do you want this relationship to work? I would like for this to work, yes. Part of this, for both of you, is getting to the truth. And we're getting ready to do that today. To get to the truth, uh, the court is going to call licensed private investigator Eric Eccles. Ron, please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom. Yes, ma'am. How are you? How are you doing, Your Honor? Uh, good to see you, Mr. Eccles. You too, sir. As part of your investigation in this case, you had a member of your team administer a polygraph examination to Mr. McKellop. Is that correct? Yes, sir, it is. All right. Let's go to this question. Yes. Since your son was born, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Miss Viney that she does not know about? What was Mr. McKellop's response? His response, Your Honor, was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. <laughs> okay, so you've heard the answers. What are you feeling? I still feel hurt. Your Honor, I, you, I, I go, there's on. days let, I go let, through hell. Let me, let me talk to her. Getting numerous of text messages. Ms. Viney, he has told you the truth. He has not been with other women. You have got to let it go. Your Honor, I just, there's no moving forward because he refuses to call me, even his girlfriend or a wife. It's and pretty hard, Your Honor, when I'm getting accused daily and... But, but, Mr. Kellogg, you got it. You have to own up to what you did. Correct. You know, you're not an innocent in this. I no. mean, we're talking to Ms. Viney, but we're also talking to you. Correct. You have to own up to what you did. 
Somebody's got to move the ball. And but I'm willing to do that. You're willing to do that? Yes. You are what? Tell her. I'm willing to do that. We have a lot of work to do. I'm willing to forgive you and move forward. All right. This court is going to encourage you all to take advantage of the counseling resources that we have. We want you to make sure that you are prepared to move forward so you all can make this relationship work. Because right. as we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned.